Congratulations and welcome. My name is Musa Kalenga. I'll be your host slash MC for the morning. Um, it's set to be an exciting day and I think there's a lot that we're going to be learning and unpacking throughout the entire morning. This morning, I just want to take you through five pillars that we believe at HDI. For us, the next is the next culture, the next job, the next degree, the next brand. And that's how we're seeing the youth of today. But this is a, a very interesting panel. We're going to kick it off. Uh, and like Musa said, we're discussing youth trends that enrich your marketing strategy. So on my radio show, I spoke to some of the kids from uh, Junior Board of Directors at HDI Youth. The main line was like, listen to the kids, bro. You really have to listen to the kids in 2018. The youth now are very aware of who they are as a people, as a person, as a culture. So we see this whole trend of what is called Afri Renewal, where people are falling in love with the fact that I am African and I am proud. So I actually want to go through a bit of the themes that we have picked up from our focus group in terms of the South African identity and specifically with Generation Y. So when marketing for young people, you, you can't put us in a box. You should be catering for the heart of what we stand for. So yes, we stand for celebrating individuality. We stand for different types of relationships, right? We also are all about our grind, we're all about our hustle, but we also want to have fun. That's the heart of the youth. Um, and so we're going to be having a heated discussion, essentially being able to debate all the things that have to do with strategy, creative, young minds, and we're also going to be interrogating some adverts, some brand ads we're going to show you, and we're going to put them under the spotlights to be able to rate them and understand why they work and why they don't. Do you still watch ads or do you just skip past the ads? Brands do put a lot of money into making adverts, into advertising their brands, and that some people put their hearts and souls into companies and put out adverts, and people don't take the time to watch them. If I get the adverts catchy, I'll maybe stay for a little bit longer. What is it that marketers should be doing more of in creating content and advertising that can resonate? I'd even challenge how we approach our research in today in the 21st century because I think sometimes we take what we know in the 20th century, throw it in the 21st century and we still try to use the same formula to do something different. So we'll be speaking briefly around responsible marketing to the youth. Youth marketing is targeting a very vulnerable sector of society. There are new rules, there are new mediums, and in a way, we are limited to the younger kids in the way we can communicate with them. Final stretch, but lots of exciting stuff still to talk about. I love having the chance to get out of the office and meet with young people and engage with them directly. It's very inspiring to me. It gives me new ideas. And I think it underscores the degree to which young people are rising up in every continent to see some of the possibilities of tomorrow. Is the market changing as quickly as you'd like it to? It has changed too quickly. We're trying to play catch up. <laughs> we need to be able to meet them at the level that they're at. And where are they? They're on their cell phones. Yes, even in South Africa. What are they doing? They're on social media. And if we're not meeting them on social media, then what are we doing? As brands, as advertisers, as media agencies, what are we doing to disrupt and meet the people at the level of disruption? How do you pick a platform uh, for the market you're after? And do you absolutely need to be on all of them? It's actually, what is the need that you are meeting? absolutely step one. There aren't that many human needs. We don't evolve as quickly as technology does. Thanks very much.